similarly another example you can take is as i have told you gravitational force is acting between any two objects if the object has got masses you take your example you are sitting in a class there is a table or there is your another friend so what happen if you take the table and you there is a gravitational force between you and the table but do you observe this gravitational force in class no you can't why because you know it gravitational force is again the m1 into m2 divided by r square so take your own mass take the mass of the table and distance between you and the table calculate this force when you calculate this force you will be finding this force is very less so there is a gravitational force which has got very less value that's why you cannot see its effect but there is a gravitational force so you can see gravitational forces also here similarly there is earth around earth a moon is revolving here i have taken this as a moon moon is revolving in this type circular path so a moon is revolving there is a gravitational force between moon and earth because of this is also again mutual force both are applying this force on each other whenever any object moves in a circular path it has centripetal force so we write one is centripetal force centripetal force formula is m v square upon r r is this distance from this center to this center see so r is the distance between centers of these two object that means moon and earth now so see this centripetal force is coming only due to gravitational force acting between moon and earth so because of the centripetal force moon keeps on revolving around the earth so there are certain applications here and also you know the high tides and low tides tides also occur due to gravitational force of the moon so revolution of earth revolution of moon around the earth and tides all these are examples where uh, newton's law of gravitation is used or the gravitational force concept is used now here we can do acceleration due to gravity so see here what do you mean by acceleration due to gravity so see here whenever any object is placed at a height and it is dropped it comes towards earth we say it is coming due to gravity of the earth that means gravitational force between earth and object so whenever any object is dropped from a height suppose you have taken any object over here and this is here a ground and this object is dropped from here it has got initial velocity is zero when this object is dropped from here it experiences only one acceleration the acceleration due to gravitational force of earth which we call it that is acceleration due to gravity and this object is called a freely falling body freely falling body so whenever any object is released from a height we refer it as a freely falling body so uniform acceleration produced in a freely falling body under the gravity is known as acceleration due to gravity